Hello guys and welcome back to the Doc Mac Car Channel and today I'm going to answer the age-old question why does your car overheat? Now some people when their car overheats they panic but these are the few things that I would suggest that you check. So without further ado let me pop open the bonnet and let's get into it. All right over here I've got a 2.4 litre Toyota Camry 2AZ FE engine. Now this method will work for most of the engines out there if not all. So the first thing you want to check is your coolant expansion tank. So if you look right down here, you can see there is a mark for full and a mark for low. So you need to check this when the car is cool. And when it's cool, you want it to be about three quarter towards the full mark. And then once the car is warm, it should reach around the full mark. Now that could cause your car to start overheating, especially if you do not see any coolant inside here. Like in my case, it's currently full. The other thing, you guys should use the recommended coolant for your vehicle. Never use water, because if you use water, that will actually boil faster than coolant does. So if you're going to drain your coolant right down from the radiator or the thermostat, then when you're refilling it, make sure you refill it with the OEM recommended coolant. Now, when you are doing a 50-50, make sure you use distilled water or deionized water. If you use normal tap water, that'll cause minerals to start corroding your cooling system. The other thing you guys need to check is for water pump failure. Now, most water pumps are driven by the serpentine belt. However, there are some electronic water pumps out there, like Let's say, for example, this is my four-cylinder Toyota Camry engine, and that water pump is driven by the serpentine belt. Now, on my BMW, that is actually driven electronically, and it is independent of the engine, and it doesn't put any load on the engine. Now, when you guys are replacing the water pump, make sure you do the thermostat at the same time. Now, if your thermostat is actually shut close, then that will cause your engine to overheat because the radiator doesn't circulate with the rest of the cooling system and a stuck thermostat closed will cause your engine to overheat as well. Now what you guys need to also do is check your cooling system hoses. Now on my BMW I had my cooling system hose, the coolant flange hose actually give up and it was leaking water from there and I was losing about two liters of water. So make sure you check your cooling system hoses as that could be also a reason why you're losing water. All right guys, so when you or your mechanic is going to refill the cooling system after doing a drain and flush or just a drain and fill, the expansion tank will need to be filled. Now, what they'll need to do is they'll need to open the expansion tank cap and then refill it and then once it's refilled start the engine while the cap is open and what that'll do is the water pump will start sucking all the coolant in and all the air bubbles will start surfacing up and that'll then drain your system now if you do not do that there will be an air pocket in the cooling system and that is going to cause your engine to overheat the other thing you guys need to check is also your cooling fan and make sure that that cooling fan is actually running when the engine is turned on. Now, if the cooling fan fails, then especially when you are in traffic, the car will start overheating. Now, the other age old thing and is most probably the worst case scenario is head gasket failure. Now, this is your valve cover, this one right here. Now, beneath the valve cover is your head gasket. So you got your engine cover, your valve cover, your valve cover gasket, your cylinder head, and where the cylinder head lies to the engine block is where your head gasket is. Now, if that head gasket perishes, coolant is going to enter into the combustion system and you're going to have white color smoke come out of the exhaust. You'll smell a sweet smell and that is one of the worst case scenarios that you can experience because that means you've got a head gasket failure. Now, also one way to find out that you've got a head gasket failure is this is your engine oil refill area. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open that one. Okay, and then look at the cap. Now, if the cap looks like chocolate milkshake, then that would mean that you have got a head gasket failure. As you can see, there's no chocolate milkshake in there. So I'm going to close that one back. 
Now, when your head gasket fails, the coolant will enter the combustion chamber and then you will notice there's a lack of power and the car is going to start misfiring as well. So these are the top things, guys, that you can check and it doesn't cost you anything to check. On my BMW, it is an electronic based water pump and it's got a procedure where you put the air to low, you put your foot down on the accelerator while the car key is turned on but not the engine and then after 15 seconds that initiates the water pump bleed procedure. So that car is quite easy to do because it's got its own way of doing it and you just need to activate the system. All right guys, so if you're going to drain and fill your cooling system, it is not by any stretch of the imagination a hard thing to do. Now, as you guys saw, all you needed to do is to open the expansion tank cap when it is cold and then refill it with coolant and then start the engine and let the water pump suck the coolant down and the air will surface and then you just need to refill it until it comes to the desired level. All right, guys, I hope this video has been useful and informative. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.